and check out this home goods sale. They're practically giving glassware away. Miss Collins, do you regret it? Miss Collins, where did it all go wrong? Miss Collins, um, um, who are you wearing? Quiet! Okay, this is the execution of Hollywood's Barbara Collins. Barbara Collins, the greatest movie star to ever live, and me, the sad sap who got tangled up in her web. My name's Gary, by the way, sort of known as the fun executioner. You know, I used to do stand-up comedy in the community. I guess you could say, what I do in here, killing people, is not too different than what I do out there. Miss Collins, do you have any final words? But a hell of a lot happened before that, and a hell of a lot happened after. Oh hell. A hell of a lot happened after a hell of a lot, then hell. I'd say a hell of a lot more happened after that. Hello! I'm here to see Mr. Jack Fitzgerald himself. Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure you're sure? Uh, yes. Good. Because I'm Shirley. <laughs> Thank you. I got you! She's 45 minutes late. She'll be here, Jack. If there's one thing that'll get Barbara Collins to a meeting, it's the smell of a good part. And this one's better than mom's fresh baked apple pie. I just get nervous. And when I do, I become a widow, second guess, guess, baby boy. Remember? And she held that entire cruise ship hostage and made them all watch her shave her legs. <laughs> I've asked around. Nobody's got a nice word to say about her. She came into my salon, which is very high end, and caused such a stir. I did not enjoy my baguette and cheese. She stole actual candy from my actual baby. And then she stole my baby. This is just a blanket! We can't screw this picture up. This is the life story of Jeanette Conway, America's first debutante plumber! Yes, I am Jeanette Conway. Yes, I am a debutante. And yes, I am a plumber. Miss Collins is here, sir. It's not sir. Miss Collins is here, cute little baby. Very well, Gladys. Gentlemen, gentlemen. I am so sorry to have kept you waiting. I ran here all the way from two feet ago. Jack, you know me. You know I'm never late. Oh, there are only two things I loathe in this world more than tardiness. Sardines and Claudette Colbert. Unless I'm eating them on a pizza. And I'm not talking about the sardines. <laughs> Did you enjoy the Jeanette Conway script? Hated it. Loathed it. Called the police. Tried to have it arrested. Turns out they don't do that sort of thing, they said. No, gentlemen, the next Barbara Collins picture has to be something spectacular. The kind of thing they'd be hauled out of town not to award me for. The next Barbara Collins picture's gonna be something everyone's talking about. But why did you come all the way over here just to say no? I was in the area. I wasn't taking no for an answer. Late that night, I drove up to that house of hers. Unfortunately for all of us, another young Hollywood nobody had beaten me there. Thanks for having me over, Miss Collins. Gee, your home is beautiful, and it smells like ketchup. The walls were painted with ketchup. Well, that's what I get uh, for mistaking my chef for my painter. You should see what my gardener did in the middle. I stood there, just beyond her aviary, and watched as she got the young man undressed, then redressed, then half-dressed, bottoms as tops, tops as bottoms, shoes as hands. You know the drill. But suddenly, a fight broke out. Barbara Collins grabbed her gun. Shots were fired. The young man was dead. And me, some Hollywood nobody, had seen the whole damn thing. Barbara, open up. Oh, I didn't mean to do it. I, I, I swear. I, I mean, maybe maybe in the moment. No, I did. In the moment, I didn't mean to do it. I can cop to that. I can. You were defending yourself against a jealous lover who discovered us together. You mean you, you, you would do that for me? You would be my alibi? If you do something for me, the Jeanette Conway picture, no, I told you, I... We all come to this city with dreams. Some of them come true, and some fade into the night sky like Klieg lights after a Grauman's premiere. But me? I still got my dreams, Barbara. Nothing in this whole wide, crazy world should stop dreams. Also, I won't turn you in for murder. Well, Mr. Hunter, let's make a movie.
I phoned the police and by lunchtime that day I was testifying on Barbara's behalf. Do you swear to tell the tooth, the whole tooth, and nothing but the tooth? I do. Thank you. Never forget to floss. Order, order. This is Judge Reinhold presiding. Mr. Hunter, please explain what happened. The young man arrived in a jealous rage. Barbara stopped him. End of story. Oh, I hate when stories end. I just want them to keep going and going, but I'm a total bookworm. Are you? Yes. What have you read lately? Uh, I read the new Stuart Woods novel last week. Couldn't put it down, but... That's because I glued it to my hand on a dare. You know, I'm a bit of a daredevil myself. Seriously, dare me to do something. I'll do it. Okay, uh, I dare you to let Barbara off for the murder. Damn, you got me. <laughs> okay, fine, go. You're your own worst enemy sometimes, Paula. That afternoon, we filmed the entire picture, and just as I imagined, it was remarkable. We're Conways. We have a legacy to uphold. No. Our grandfather, the Colonel, invented toenail clippers. We don't do that sort of thing. No one's going to tell me what to do anymore. If I want to put on a big pretty dress and go to the cotillion, I will. And if I want to reach my hand into a dirty toilet and unclog it after someone lays a really big one and get paid money, I'm going to do that too. So please, get out of my way. And let me plunge that goddamn toilet. The next morning was opening night, and the raves were in. She's brilliant, divine, a fancy feast of fabulous. <laughs> I love cock. I loved it so much. I'm eating my ticket stuff. And I'm allergic to paper. Take it from me. She's a shoe in for the Oscar. Right, guys? <laughs> The Oscars were the following afternoon. That morning, as we got ready for the big night, we were both optimistic. I can't believe after 48 years in this business, I'll finally get to stand on that stage tonight and take the bow I've always deserved. But you know what will make it sweetest of all, Mr. Hunter? What, Barbara, dear? Winning it for your words, your tender, erotic words. Fuck me. Wait, the TV. More scandal in Tinseltown today as British actress Irene Sinclair sentenced to a lifetime in prison for crimes not yet fully explained. The police have offered the following statement. Believe us when we say it was really icky and really gross. Back to you, news. Now, a word from Irene Sinclair herself. Yeah, I'll do what I did and I'll rub a sticky from it. Oh, that bitch! She went and created a bigger scandal than me. Oh, she's sure to win tonight. Oh, Leslie, we've got to think of something fast and sick. Really sick. I mean, the kind of thing nobody could ever forgive. Not even a real sicko. Hello, press. My name is Academy Award nominee Barbara Collins. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> guys, come on, really. Really, guys. Shh. I am announcing today that I. Barbara, Academy Award nominee Collins, have never, ever once washed my hands. Take her away! Lock her up and throw away the key! Don't actually throw away the key. I'll repeat them last time. It's been four years. That guy's still in jail for jaywalking. Please, I didn't know. I'm colorblind. All right, Miss Collins, you're back. That's good to see you again, Judge. Hey, what happened to your arm? My four-year-old niece dared me to drop a refrigerator on it. I really need to work on this dare thing. For the crime of never, ever having washed your hands, we sentence you to death. But in light of your Academy Award nomination, we permit you to attend tonight's festivities at the Shrine Auditorium before death by electricity at 11 p.m. sharp. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, Tonight's Best Leading Actress nominees have spent the past few days working tirelessly on their films. I admire their commitment to craft, creativity, and caffeine. <laughs> They're all coffee lovers, and so am I. And these are Deborah Underwood for The Girl with Roses for Elbows, Irene Sinclair for A Postman's Holiday, 
Betty Gilpin, for our sofa was not for sale. And Barbara Collins, for the Jeanette Godway story. And the winner is... Barbara Collins. Oh, my. Thank you. Oh, uh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Stop. Ah, oh, this one's a lot heavier than Olivia de Havilland's. But actually, you could say that for a lot of things of mine. In fact, I would like to take this moment to list all of the items in my home that probably weigh more than the ones Olivia de Havilland has. I'll start with the kitchen. Uh, toaster. Um, my butcher's block. Uh, oh, and I'm getting the wrap it up sign. Okay, thank you. Miss Collins, do you have any final words? Oh, uh... All right, thank you very much. I have something to say. I love Hollywood and I love the pictures, but up until two days ago, I had never loved before. Thought I had, but it was kid stuff. Even the deepest of my past romances is shallowed by the flattening love I have for this woman before me. Barbara, I love you. With every drop of blood coursing through my unworthy heart. Thanks, Mr. Hunter. Barbara, anything else you'd like to add? Hmm? No. Thank you very much. And here we go. And that was it. The end of the greatest star to ever live and the greatest star to ever love. I suppose you could call this story of mine some sort of fable. Not one of mice and lion or miser and gold but of a great big Hollywood star with the world finally once again at her fingertips, yet fingertips attached to two dirty, unwashed, 